What's up guys, I'm Justin Davis with over 10 years of drone and cinema filming experience. Today on Drone Camp's channel, we're gonna check out one of the world's best bundles that you can possibly get right now. It's kind of the future of cinema filming under 250 G. This is the Aerovation Cinestar. Here we go. Now what Aerialvation has put together here with their bind and fly option is probably one of the most impressive drone bundles out there under 250 grams. We have everything in this box that you need to fly and they've gone a step further by adding a naked GoPro on board. This is getting that quad well under 250 grams with the GoPro Hero 8 on there with full stabilization. We have a polarizer filter on there and to make it even better, DJI Digital FPV, which allows an HD resolution to come back to your goggles and give you that real nice real-time view at 700 milliwatt. They've also included a TBS Tango 2 in the box, and that will get this drone out there miles and miles of range, which is super impressive. But let's take a look at other stuff included in the box. And one of the most important things in the box is the Cinestar drone itself. It is sporting that decased naked style GoPro. This is the Hero 8 with the Cinestar logo on the very front. It does have a filter on the front as well. You can get various different filters and there's more in the box you can play around and experiment with. But what's nice about this is that it's also powered through the drone's battery itself. So you don't have to have the additional weight of a GoPro battery in this drone. And they have an offset battery back here, making the CG balance out with the camera in the front just a little bit better. And in the very middle, we have on a 45 degree angle, the F4 flight controller and the Cadex Vista digital FPV system, running digital FPV back to your DJI goggles. And a super smooth airflow on this quad out the bottom. It is inverted Eco Emax motors. And we have little 2.5 inch props on the bottom, which are super cheap to replace. You're likely never to break a prop because of the way they have the prop guards set up on here. Now in stability mode, in beta flight, this quad does fly super, super smooth. So if you wanna do real estate videos, like fly throughs, you could fly indoors or outdoors with this quad. And we have to mention that this quad does not come with GPS return to home, but it does have a secret sauce on here. It does have the TBS Crossfire Nano receiver, which in my 10 years of experience flying quadcopters, I've only been flying TBS for about five years, guys, but I have never had a fail safe with the TBS system. But best of all, this little quad is weighing in with the battery at under 250 grams. Now up in the left-hand corner, we have a slot for a DJI goggles, keeping those safe for transport. Right next to that, we have the TBS Tango 2, which slides right down in this compartment here. We also have some free well filters over here for various different ND filters, depending on how bright the sun is when you're filming. We have a capacity checker for your battery. This is nice. You can see what kind of voltage your batteries have in the field. We also have a giant 4S 650 milliamp battery in here for field charging. It also comes with a really nice duo charger so you can charge two batteries at once in the field, either XT60 or XT30 batteries, which your drone in the box does come with an XT30 style connector. So all your batteries that come in the box as well, these are 650 milliamp, they are GNB batteries with the XT30s on there. And we have one 1100 battery in there as well. And this one will get you well over 10 minutes flight time, which is super nice. I also got two extra 18650 batteries, which do go in the Furious FPV battery pack for your goggles. It has a barrel connector on the bottom and that just plugs into the side of your DJI goggles. And this will pretty much last you the entire day, guys. It also does have an LED display on here and a readout. It tells you what the voltage is in the battery pack. And when you need to charge your 18650s, they also include a duo charger for your 18650s and the cable as well to plug into the wall at home or in the field. And also in the box, I received a variety of cables just in case I have to hook up to Betaflight. There is a little tiny USB port on the side of this quad that will allow you to use the open source software to change around the OSD on your DJI digital FPV system. And we have a bunch of variety of accessories in here. We have a lens cloth. We have the TBS bag for your TBS Tango 2, which is super nice. Underneath that, I have even a little trainer drone. They give you this little tiny trainer drone in the kit, which is kind of nice. You can fly this indoors and learn line of sight before you ever start to fly the real thing, which is a really highly recommended thing that I always recommend on my channel. And we also have two extra sets of props in here as well. 63 millimeter is the size for the props. And I'll put some links down below for these as well. 
We also get some extra hardware in the bag and I got an extra GoPro battery in here just in case I needed it, but that came along with the purchase of the GoPro. So if you do get this bundle, they should give you the extra parts that came along with your GoPro. So if you ever decide to put it back together, you can do that, which is kind of cool. But I think the nicest thing about this particular setup is that everything I need to fly is inside this box for around the same price of a DJI Phantom. You can also get some cheaper bundles. We'll put some links down below for this type of setup for the Cinestar. And you can also buy the GoPro Hero 8 decased as well by itself on their website too. And that's pretty cool that you can buy it by itself and put it on any type of drone out there. It does have sort of a dampened set up on here as well so it does have nice dampening and i think it's great that it's powered through the drone that's really fantastic but let's go ahead now and let's give this quad what it deserves a good flight test guys here we go
All right, guys, welcome back for my initial flight test with the Cinestar. This is a really fun little quad, and I did a very similar review a while back on the Beta FPV version, what looks very similar to this. But again, there are some major differences between these two designs. Cinestar has done some stuff that it kind of stands out in comparison to the Beta FPV version. So this one is flying a little bit better for freestyle, and it does some cinema stuff really, really well. So. I think we kind of have the best of both worlds with this quad with the equal distribution of the weight of the battery on the back and the GoPro in the front. And the box itself is just full of goodies. I mean, you pretty much have all the extras that you need to get out there and fly FPV and do cinema video. But what I like most about this particular little quad is the fact that it is under 250 grams and it does have their in-house D-Case GoPro. So if you're looking for a D-Case GoPro, this company actually offers it on their website standalone. You can get one. I'll try to put the link down below for you, but this kind of changes everything and gets your GoPro on something under 250 G. But I think what's really nice about this bundle is that they did throw everything at the bundle that most of the drone market wants. We've got everything on here, including DJI digital video. We've got TBS on here, the Tango 2 transmitter, which everybody wants right now. It's the latest and greatest version. And I'm running the latest firmware on my DJI goggles, which is up to 50 megabits. So it's really, really nice high resolution FPV. It's totally different than analog cameras that kind of look like VHS video in your goggles. This is true standard HD video in your goggles in real time. And again, I gotta mention that 700 milliwatt will get you out there for miles and miles. If you wanna put a little bit larger battery on here, experiment with something like a 1250 or so, you could probably get away with that. But my recommendation is gonna be to stick around 1100 milliamp. 4S 1100 is still gonna get you over 10 minutes flight time if you're just cruising. Today, it was the perfect day to fly. We had no wind and it was an absolute joy to fly the Cinestar. So I'm looking forward to doing some more videos on this bundle and give you more information on this one. So if you'd like to check out the links and the specs down below, I'll put the links down there for the Cinestar by itself, bind and fly, the PNP version, the D-Case GoPro, and the entire bundle with DJI and the Tango too. So either way you go, you're gonna have a nice experience with aerial vation. So guys, thanks again for watching my channel. I'm Justin Davis. Be well and fly fast and fly safe. I'll see you on the next one.